Game publisher Red Octane struck the right chord with PS2 owners last year with their release of the hard-rocking Guitar Hero. To date, still one of my favorite games of all time. And operating under the mantra, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, we're given the aptly named sequel, Guitar Hero 2. Those familiar with the original will jump right in, but for the uninitiated, you'll use a realistic, albeit smaller, guitar controller with five colored buttons on the frets of the neck, a strum bar, and of course a whammy bar. Color-coded notes will scroll down the screen and you have to press the corresponding buttons on the frets while strumming in time with the music. Linked notes add to your high scores while increasing your rock meter. Miss too many notes and the meter goes empty. You get booed off the stage and it's song over. Fill up the meter and the crowd goes nuts. Pulling off enough successful notes will also fill up your star power gauge. You can activate this by tilting your guitar up, which can then double your score as your on-screen persona rocks out. Now, not much has changed from the original title. The sequel simply gives you more of what made the game great to begin with. For starters, the song list is huge, over 40 tracks plus unlockable bonus titles. Songs by Cheap Trick, The Police, and Aerosmith make the cut. But while that list is filled with some great tunes and with great riffs and solos, there are quite a few that did not really appeal to me. Could be my age, but with a game titled Guitar Hero, it seems like there should be more songs of legendary status that immediately conjure up days of playing air guitar with my friends. Again, probably just me, and maybe I'm a little out of touch with today's music scene. Most of the songs are fun nonetheless, but I still get that tingly feeling all over when playing You Really Got Me by Van Halen. Now, that's David Lee Roth Van Halen, not Hagar, by the way. Of course, the majority of the licensed songs are covers, but once again, masterfully done, especially the guitar work. Some new multiplayer modes have been added, but sadly, still no online play. Competitive mode is still there, where you and a friend would trade off playing sections of a song, but there's also a new version of that mode that lets you both play through the entire song together, and it's very satisfying as each of you tries to outshine the other. What I really enjoyed was the new practice mode. This enables you to play through any sections of a song at speeds much slower than the regular tempo. A great way to practice your hammer-ons or memorize a particular riff you were struggling with. But it's career mode where you'll spend most of your time, and besides some new characters, costumes, and venues, nothing is really different here. Play through songs to unlock new songs and venues, although you will get asked for an encore performance to finish out the section. We also got to try out the game with the well-designed Wireless Freedom V guitar controller from the Ant Commandos. Besides the cool-looking design of the guitar itself, what we liked about the controller was that the buttons were a little closer together than the standard SG controller, making chord movements and hammer-ons a little easier. The wireless connectivity worked fantastically and had great range. Playing while not tethered to your PS2 is certainly the best way to get the most out of the game. But the Ant Commandos assume no liability for broken limbs caused by flying scissor kicks off the sofa. One minor complaint though, and we are nitpicking here. The tilt sensor was kind of hit or miss on our unit and they ended up just hitting the select button most of the time to trigger the star power instead of risking the possibility of missing a good score multiplying moment. Luckily, the select and start buttons are in a perfect position to pull this off. Also, if you have a first-generation guitar from the Ant Commandos, you will need an adapter to use it with Guitar Heroes 2. The small adapter attaches between the controller and the PS2's controller port. We've tried the solution and it worked flawlessly. These adapters are very inexpensive and can be ordered through the Ant Commandos website at www.theguitarmania.com. Guitar Hero 2 didn't tamper with the successful formula of their first outing, and that's a good thing. Rocking out to more titles and with a friend is even better. Guitar Hero 2 is rated T for teens, is available for PS2, and Texas Gamer gives it a 4 out of 5. For Texas Gamer, I'm Mark Adam.